Officer. What's going on guys, PC here, and welcome to another episode of First Look. Today we're taking a first look at Tech Romancer on the Dreamcast. This is a mech fighting game? Robot fighting game? I don't know. I, I don't really know a whole lot about it. And I usually don't do First Look videos on fighting games because... 2D fighters are not really my thing. Although I don't know if this is 2D or 3D. It's kind of hard to tell by the screenshots, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go in here and do some fighting, I guess. <laughs> uh, button config, game options, ar arrange? What is arrange? Enjoy the story mode and hero challenge games. The second player can join in and play a versus game. Okay, interesting game mode name. Tatsumi Technodome? Secret features may be accessed here. Okay, well obviously I don't have any secret features yet. I don't think I've unlocked any because I haven't played the game yet. Now, I did just grab the Japanese version of this game. This is obviously not the Japanese version. This is the US version because I'm playing off of my hard drive modded Dreamcast and that's what I have on there. Uh, I figure I can download the English version. Because I own the Japanese version. All I'm doing is changing the text. <laughs> so it's perfectly legal. Anyway, let's uh, jump into a range, I guess. <laughs> Even though I have no idea what that is. Um, okay. Pick a player. A new hero, as it says down below there. Okay, they're all mechs, I guess. Or humans with robot partners? I don't know. <laughs> Um, let's go with this guy, I guess. Although, the, why does this have a group of people? Everyone else has just... Well, no, there's a couple of people there. One person. Okay, I ran out of time. <laughs> I guess I got Guru, Gare, Garu? I don't, I don't know. Story mode, or hero challenge mode. Defeat tw all 12 robots, the computer will rank your ability. Or story mode, unique story for each pilot. Eh, I don't want a story. Let's just uh, go into this here. Some sort of challenge mode. I, I must warn you, I am absolutely horrible at fighting games. Okay, so this is a sort of 3D fighter, I guess? Maybe 2.5D? No, it's not 2.5D. It is 3D. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> Um, it obviously kind of reminds me of Virtual On. But Virtual On's not quite as restrictive. Because obviously this locks you on to the enemy, so you're always facing towards the enemy. Whereas in Virtual On, you have a little bit more freedom than that, if I remember right. Although I haven't played a whole lot of Virtual On, so. But I do remember you being able to freely navigate around the map. Well, I don't know if I'm winning or not. I don't think I am. <laughs> no, he has tons of health. It's probably because he picked the character that I wanted. <laughs> That's the robot that I originally wanted to select before I ran out of time. Wait. Extreme impact? I have no idea what that means. I did a special move of some sort. Oh wow, that was good too. We are just about tied now. Wait. Why did his health bar go up? Final attack. Finish him. Uh, okay. Armor destroyed. I won? What do you mean? What? His health bar went back up. Okay, where is his health bar? Is it the thing on the right? Oh, I won. Okay. I'm so confused by this. Because the health bars, I think, are on the left and right of the screen there. But they keep going up and down. Usually health bars only go down. <laughs> so that's a bit confusing. But whatever, I won that first battle. Not bad for my first time playing the game, I suppose. I almost lost. At least I think I did. Wait, no. Those are not health bars. Because they started out low. <laughs> Usually health bars don't start start low. Unless, maybe they're supposed to? Maybe I'm supposed to fill up the health bar. <laughs> I don't know. It's very different. Very, very different, that's for sure. Extreme impact. 
I don't know, I'm kind of liking this game so far. Even though I'm, I'm most likely horrible at it. <laughs> I'm sure these CPU players are fairly easy at this point. I'm only on the second level, so... They aren't putting up a whole lot of a fight. Armor destroyed. Okay, I can't get a hit on him now. <laughs> yeah, see, his health bar is filling up. So I think that's what you're supposed to do. It's just the opposite. Wait, no, see, it just went down again. Why did they go down? It, it's some sort of damage meter, because it says damage on it. Oh, he did an extreme impact on me. That's not supposed to happen. Ooh. Nice! I finished him off with a sonic blast. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, another victory. Sweet. The computer better give me a good rank after this. Take into consideration, I'm a noob at this game. <laughs> oh, that was kind of cool. I certainly have a lot of moves, that's for sure. I like that... That laser blast thing kind of reminds me of the sonic blasts that, uh, what's his name? X-Men guy <laughs> does in X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I'm not all that familiar with X-Men characters. I've never been huge into X-Men, I've seen a few of the movies, but... But yeah, the guy with the laser eyes he does a sonic blast move. I'm not doing so well on this round. Can I use the analog stick or... Yes, apparently you can. Okay. I was automatically using the D-pad because usually you can only use the D-pad for, for fighters. Although that's typically 2D fighters. This one's a 3D fighter. So I guess it makes sense that it uses the analog stick. Although Virtualon uses the D-pad only, if I remember right. I think that was one of the weird things about it. Because I know a lot of people complain about the controls in Virtualon, uh, the Dreamcast version, obviously. That's what I'm referring to. <laughs> Oritario Tangram. Oh, I lost my armor. Sonic Blast! I have no I still have no idea what I- I'm just button mashing. That's what I do in all fighters, really. <laughs> I've never really memorized controls in fighting games. I always just button mash. Well, it's my first loss. Uh, I'm gonna back out and- because I don't want to fight him again. I'm gonna back out and maybe go into the story mode, try that out. Wait until the continue timer runs out. Game over. Tech Romancer! Okay, we're gonna go back into a range. We'll pick a different mech this time. I wanted to go with him, but I already fought him, so you guys kind of already saw that guy. So let me, let me go with this guy. <laughs> he kind of looks like Eggman or Robotnik, just because he's this big round robot. Um, story mode, we'll try that. What the heck? Balan and Poodlin? Okay, I'm not gonna watch the cutscene. I'm not very interested in that. <laughs> oh wow. This guy looks ridiculous. <laughs> he's got a giant hammer. Oh, I love this guy. He shoots trains? What the heck? Okay, I, I, if this is officially my favorite character in the game. He, he's made up of buildings and a wrecking ball and a... ...various things. He's just cobbled together. <laughs> it's so weird, but so awesome at the same time.
Oh, I actually picked up a weapon. I didn't realize that. So those little icons that pop up on the screen every once in a while. He's got baby chicks around his head. Because <laughs> I hit him with the, the hammer. That's a nice effect. It's like a cartoon. But yeah, the, the various icons that appear every once in a while, those are weapon pickups. That's very unusual for a fighting game. I like the idea. It's, it's like mixing kart racers and fighters. <laughs> Item pickups. It's a cool idea. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Come on, I am gonna win this. Armor destroyed! Ooh, a drill! <laughs> I love this guy so much. Oh, he's gonna toss me. Extreme impact. Extreme. This game is very extreme. That's no lie. Stop punching me. I will hit you with my hammer. If I knew how to do it, I'll use the drill. That's fine. This building's actually in my way. Okay. I didn't know there were obstacles in the game, because I don't think the previous levels had anything that could get in your way. But this one does. I gotta say, I probably misjudged this game. Originally, I was thinking, ah, oh, it's just another Capcom 2D fighter. Again, I'm not big into 2D fighters, so they don't thrill me all that much. But this is very different. It's obviously not a 2D fighter, it's a 3D fighter. It's got a lot of crazy weapons and, and characters. It's just very different. And I lost. Man. No, you destroyed my scrapyard robot. How dare you? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try it one more time. Um, man, I want, I want to do a variety of, of robots, but I really like that guy. No, screw it. I'm going with him again. I like him. Actually, I probably should have selected the other one because it probably would have randomized who I'm fighting, I assume. Usually in challenge modes they do. But whatever. We're here for vengeance. That's all that matters. Stop blocking my hammer. He's blocking everything. It's very annoying. There we go. Got him with the wrecking ball. Ooh, give me that. Give me that. Weapon obtained. What did I get? Oh, the drill? So, it, one of the loading screens said hold B to charge your attack, although that doesn't seem to be doing anything. I hold B and he just digs a hole. <laughs> level up, speed. Oh, you can level up too? Man, this is so cool. So, I have a magic pot, according to the top left of the screen. I, I assume it's magic pot as in, you know, uh, a thing that contains stuff and not pot. <laughs> I got some magic pot. Uh, I have no idea how I use the magic pot. I got my hammer again. Come on, he's gotta be almost... His armor is almost broken, I think. Eat my train. <laughs> I love that so much. What the heck? Um, what's happening? That was interesting. <laughs> oh man. I love this game. It's so ridiculous. Oh. It kind of reminds me of... 
Fighters Megamix on the Saturn, in a way. <laughs> Just because of how ridiculous it is. At least with this character, anyway. You are a troublemaker. Yes, I am. You always cause trouble, so I came here to protect you. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do one more. Ooh, we're on the moon. Or somewhere in space. You took my weapon, weapon pickup. How dare you. My train has been unleashed. <laughs> Come on. Can't get a hit in. This is not going well. Oh, got the magic pot. Uh, what's happening? Um, okay. That was interesting. Uh, did I shoot a bunch of... <laughs> they look like beach balls, but they exploded. That's another weapon I have, apparently. Explosive beach balls. So when I hit them, or when he hits me, it seems like I lose the weapons and they can pick them up. Yeah. It's kind of like Power Stone in, in that way. Because when you hit an enemy in Power Stone, they will lose their Power Stones and you can pick them up. Why do I have a bunch of appliances above my head? <laughs> I'm being circled by a television, a washing machine, a refrigerator, and a bunch of other appliances. This is so ridiculous. I love it. Uh, oh, my armor's destroyed. This is going to be close, because I destroyed his armor, right? I think I did. Uh oh, final attack. No, you will not final attack me. He's gonna kill me, isn't he? No, 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 no. No, you are not gonna fill up my bar. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, 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 do your special attack. No, I'm dead. No. Oh well. Well, I tried. As much as I like this game, I suck at it. <laughs> Maybe if I actually took the time to learn the buttons instead of button mashing, I might have a better chance of winning, but... Wow, she is really upset with me. I'm sorry. I know I'm your idol. <laughs> I'm your... Uh, toy robot? I don't know. I don't know what the relationship here is, but... Oh man, I love this game though. It's so cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys, but this has been Techromancer. I had no idea what this game was about. Again, I just assumed it was just a typical Capcom 2D fighter. But I was dead wrong. And it has this guy in the game. This guy makes the whole game awesome. Without him in it, I probably wouldn't like it as much. <laughs> this, this game is awesome. It's an expensive game, though, unfortunately. Uh, I managed to pick up the Japanese copy for $15, which is a ridiculously low price, even for the Japanese version of the game, which usually goes for around $50, from what I can see. But the US version goes for around 100 or so, and I assume the PAL version is probably up there as well. But this is a fun, fun game. If you can find it for a good price, it's definitely worth picking up. Uh, even if you're not a fan of fighters, typically, it's ridiculous. I love it. It doesn't take itself too seriously. <laughs> it doesn't take itself seriously at all. It, it, it's very different. I love the uh, the uh, weapon pickups and the upgrades and just everything about it is very different. It's not your typical fighter, and I really, really like it. But uh, anyway, guys, 
But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you have, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.